Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to do uh, tires. Um, on this, um, I guess you could call it, uh, what's the word I heard today, it probably fit all of these. Uh, SEX 10 clone. On this SEX 10 clone, uh, tires you see right here, these are what came with it. And you know, they're, they're okay, probably for a trail, but um, I found out real quickly if I have to do any hill climbing that uh, they don't have what it, I, it needs to uh, climb the hills. So what I've done is I went out and I bought these uh, really really aggressive tread. Um, I don't know if they'll work very well, but you know budget's tight, so I got these at a good deal, um, which is you know the way things need to be here in the RC world. You know even though. We you know spend a lot of money of our trucks. Uh, we go ahead and do upgrades. It doesn't take long to uh, for all these all these parts to add up. You know, so um, so got to be you know kind of tight with the budget. Sometimes go with a no name brand and you may find that they work uh, just as good if not better. All right. So uh, before I go ahead and mount these, let's do a tire comparison. See where we're at. Are we going to be any taller? I was kind of hoping for taller. So here we are. All right. So the new tires are a little bit taller than the old ones, and they got uh, quite a bit more aggressive tread, especially on the corners right here for catching. Uh, the center, uh, not so much. Now, I may not keep these tires on here, um, but for now, I, I think I'm gonna mount these up and see how it does. All right. Okay. So we'll go ahead and. Uh, Take these wheels off and uh, see uh, get going on it. We're gonna have uh, four bead locks to go ahead and change out, so um, gonna be a lot of screw in here <coughs> to get those off. I'm gonna find a driver that fits. You have all these drivers with different size bits on it. I'll be darned if I can get the one I ever need. So I haven't had these off before. I'm finding out like immediately that these uh, screws are loose. And some of them are actually backed off a little bit. I didn't pay that close attention to it. Uh, that's a good thing, I guess, to catch that. We'll just take these caps off real quick. Now, if I was going for like a, I guess a, a scale competition, like I've said before, I'm just starting to get into some of the scale stuff. Um, I would uh, leave these caps on, but for ease of taking the tires on and off, I'm gonna leave the center caps off. Um, once they're off, that's it. Um, anyway, a truck of this vintage needs to have lockouts uh, in the front anyway, so. And these don't come with them. And we tend to have on these cheaper wheels, uh, the screws are pretty soft, so pretty easy to strip these out. We'll put everything in one spot so we don't lose it. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm looking at this a little closer. I'm finding like all these screws are loose. Like one of the complaints I always hear about, like RTRs, are you know it was a great car, but I found several screws loose. Uh, need to get some Loctite, and really all I gotta say is duh to that because I don't care what it is. If it says it's ready to run, yeah, they did the best they could because they have to, you know produce so many units probably a day um, if 
but there's going to be some things that are missed and some things uh, from the factory that should be locked I didn't aren't uh, that's where you know I feel myself as a hobbyist uh, need to you know, kind of step in and uh, just make sure to save myself the headache and get these uh, you know, make sure everything's tight all right so there it is the SCX 10 knockoff got new rubber I think it looks pretty good I mean just look at that I mean there's not gonna be any tire rub doesn't look like I mean plenty of clearance on the back as well right so I think actually it, it fits the wheel well really well you know I kinda hate trucks full size or you know RC's that uh, tires are just so big that doesn't fit the car truck whatever it is um, but uh, yeah so kinda raise the stance a little bit I think it looks good uh, the foams that I I took the foams out of the old ones and I'm gonna put them in my Viterra. <clears throat> I did an experiment with no foams, but it didn't really work out uh, because of uh, the tires are folding and it, so uh, I'm gonna just like do uh, put foams back in it and uh, in there. So so here you are. Here's the old tires. Really doesn't look like much of a difference, but I mean, it's gonna make a difference, I think. We'll find out. Next time you see this truck, we'll be in the mud bog. Uh, it's been raining quite a bit here in Louisiana, so uh, my yard is absolutely uh, soaked, and uh, I got a, a good area where. Uh, we can do a, a good mud bog. So next time you see this truck, you'll see that. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and then after that, what you'll see is we'll have the lights all hooked up. So then this truck will be done for now. Um, I don't think I'm going to do an interior on this body. I'm going to do something else. I, not really uh, happy with the paint job so anyway if you like what you've seen today give me a like click subscribe there's gonna be more uh, 2019 is gonna have some um, I think pretty good surprises so you know stick around and uh, you get to see what it is alright thank you